So today we'll be doing front and rear brake pads on the Evil Insurgent. Uh, it's winter here, so what better time? Got XTR brakes on this dentist mobile. Uh, pretty, they're pretty dead. Same with the rear. Rotors look okay, we'll not have to worry about that. We'll need new brake pads. A set of metric Allen wrenches, flathead screwdriver, IPA, oh, this IPA, yeah, you'll need that one too. So what we'll end up doing, so you, you don't want to do this in your house, it'll just be easier. So I take it, I flip her over. You know, want by start by taking the wheel off. Pretty simple. Put that off to the side. As you can see, they're not too great. So grab your flathead screwdriver. I use the 399 Harbor Freight Special. You don't need any fancy tools. And take that. You're gonna wanna pull the clip if you can still got it. So pull the clip off. You can use a screwdriver. Don't lose it. Little tiny clip. But somewhere you're not gonna lose it. Take your screwdriver. Unscrew this post. Pull it out. It's pretty gnarly. You can grease it up, clean it up. Take the pads, and just pull them out. The spring, you see how worn they are? Pretty worn out. Yeah, toss those away. Now, what I like to do is take a rag, take a little IPA. Pull it on there, wipe it off, clean it up. You don't really want, you want to just make sure it's nice and clean before you start putting new pads in. Now depending how worn your pads were, your pistons might be out pretty far. Now if your pistons are out pretty far, you'll want to put the pads back in, take a screwdriver and just push them, push the pistons back in. Grab new pads. Come with everything you need. Pads. Spring. You don't need this. This is for cheap junk. These were good on XTR, XT, SLX, Alfine. So you can throw this away for XTR. Now you want to get your pads and your spring and you want to fashion it so that the spring slides in between the pads and then hold it like a sandwich kind of. So like so. Everything lines up. You can see the spring. So I'll take the pin and I'll start it in the put it in a little bit now they are directional so you're going to want to take the left one and put it on the far side of here and the right one on the other side so just press them in push them in push the pin through make sure the pin went through the actual spring that's going to be critical take your screwdriver screw it back in just snug. Once it's just snug, take your safety clip, safety clip, and you'll clip it on the other side. And that's it. Now that your brakes are in, as you can see, mine are a little tight. So I'll take that screwdriver, I'll end up taking them out, doing it right, using the old pads and spreading them out. But then you just put your wheel back on and check your, your lever for brake feel. 
Another thing, once you have the tire off, you'll want to check your rotor for brake wear. Make sure there's no grooves. Make sure it looks about the right thickness. You can't really feel it. Nah, this rotor's still good. If you, if you have issues, after you touch it, you're going to want to use that IPA again. Just wipe your oil off your, from your hands. And then put your wheel back on. And you're just going to want to check lever feel. Feels good. Yep. If it doesn't feel good, you'll want to watch my next video on how to bleed Shimano XTR brakes. For the rear brake, it's going to be basically the same procedure. Flip the bike upside down. For me, 5mm Allen wrench. Take the rear wheel off. Flip this switch here, makes it a little easier. If you have a newer bike, if not, it doesn't make a big deal. You could shift it into a higher gear, but yeah, it's easier if you shift it into a higher gear. Put it in a higher gear, it'll be easier to pull off. Pull it here, pull your wheel up. Off, pull it over here. See these pads are pretty toast after a long year of riding. Uh, for this one, I will take a screwdriver. Take your Harbor Fret screwdriver, push them back. Just kind of twist it. And maybe they'll move back. Same thing, pull a safety clip. I lost mine, but you'll pull it. Yours, take your screwdriver, put this screw out right, right there. Like I said, same thing, pull a pin, pull the pads, just wiggle them, come out. Yeah, those are toast. Throw those away. Same thing, take the pin, that will hold there. You can flip the bike over if it's easier. Left, this side, outside's left. Inside's right. And just push it on in. Put your wheel back on, put your axle back in, tighten it back up. About there. I mean, there's a torque spec if you want to spend money on a torque wrench for here in the living room. Yeah, just hand tight. Don't over tighten it. Hand tight. Now, if your brake levers ended up like this, got no brakes, you're gonna have to bleed your brakes or take it in to bleed them. That's my next episode bleeding brakes. Now, depending on the pads you got, I got resin pads because they wear a little quicker, but I don't use too much brakes. And I don't like to wear the rotors. The rotors are more expensive than brake pads. Um, so, or you can get the metal ones. The metal ones won't wear as fast, but they will wear through your brake rotors. So I prefer the resin brakes. You'll want to bed in resin brakes. So you'll want to take your bike up to speed. You'll want to slam on the brakes, not front brakes, but not quite lock them up, but you'll want to really get them in. Make sure you bed in your pads before you go ripping down some hills. Thanks, this has been an episode of bike repair in the living room and we'll see you next time.